All right, let's talk about these roadways. We've got a couple of things going on from delays to accidents. So as you see, we have one accident that is working out east at this time. It is at Highway 64 and Brunswick Road starting to see some delays. And now that new information coming in, a traffic really moving slowly westbound, but also eastbound at this time. Uh, so uh, you do want to avoid that area if at all possible. 40 will help you move uh, past 64. Uh, otherwise, you will be uh, stuck there for a little bit longer. Otherwise, we are seeing, of course, our delays on 240 west near Poplar down to 20 miles an hour as you are approaching uh, that log jam from four lanes down to two. So that stretches all the way uh, to Walnut Grove now starting to make its way back towards the 4240 flyover. We are starting to see slowdowns now on 385 from 65 miles an hour down to 30. So that is to be expected. It is rush hour after all, uh, but especially as you are approaching that 240 junction, you can see really slow traffic westbound at Ridgeway heading towards 240 as well as at Kirby. Still not looking all that bad at Riverdale. So uh, overall not seeing too many uh, troubles on the south leg of the loop. Traffic still moving smoothly, uh, but traffic is starting to build in this area. At 240 and Mill Branch, you see both east and westbound traffic very uh, heavy, but not delayed. So that's what's important. Looks like we also have a disabled vehicle at 240 and Airways. It's on the shoulder though. I'll continue to track it with your time saver traffic.